Hi, I'm Dr. Kavita Bhatt. I'm a pediatric endocrinologist at Astra RV Hospital, Bengaluru. Today, I would like to share with you a few important points concerning a child's growth. You know, growth is said to be nature's lab test to good health. A child who is growing normally by far is a healthy child. Several different factors interfere with growth, ranging from nutritional uh, or occult systemic causes. By occult systemic causes, uh, we mean that there may be a hidden disease which could be causing the child to grow poorly. In such cases, the child's weight is also less. The child is short as well as underweight. When that happens, we think of occult systemic causes, which means we need to look for any other underlying health issues. Now, uh, a large chunk of children with growth problems also have hormonal causes of growth failure. The common hormones that are responsible for growth are thyroid hormones and growth hormone. So uh, thyroid hormone is responsible for growth throughout the child's uh, growing periods and so is the growth hormone. Uh, during puberty, in addition to these two hormones, uh, estrogen in girls and testosterone in girls contribute to what is the pubertal growth spurt. So with this background of growth, um, I would like to um, go into a few points about one of the hormonal causes which is growth hormone deficiency. Growth hormone is a hormone which is produced in the pituitary gland. It acts on the liver and causes it to produce a factor which in turn acts on the bone and causes our bones to grow. And that is that results in increase in height. Now, sometimes there could be uh, uh, issues uh, with secretion of growth hormone. You know, children could be born with growth hormone deficiency, in which case we find commonly history of their blood sugars having dropped when they were in the newborn period. And um, or sometimes it could be acquired due to some tumors in the region of hypothalamus or pituitary. Whatever is the case, um, monitoring height is very important because the first sign of any underlying problem is the slowing down of growth. So when the growth slows down, we need to make sure that nothing else is happening. So if you have any further questions or concerns about your child's growth, please feel free to drop by. We are available at Aster RV Hospital. The Pediatric Endocrinology Services is part of the Department of Pediatrics. Thank you.